Hey, 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 Aries, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, November 5th to Wednesday, November 6th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. So let's see what's going on for my Aries gang here. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate all your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Okay, what's going on? For my Aries peeps here. Let's see. Ooh, the Empress. Feeling good. Feeling royal today, huh, Aries? The Empress is Taurus and Libra energy. She's also in the number three, which talks about manifesting. You are feeling confident in your manifestation. When it comes to love, the Empress loves to manifest. <clears throat> she loves to make things grow. She knows how to make things grow. She's intelligent. She's earthy. She's intuitive. She is all the queens rolled into one. And she's beautiful. Careful of pregnancy, though. Some of you could be pregnant. Let's see who's coming into your life. Who's walking into Aries' life for whoever this is resonating with? This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. Who is walking into Aries' life? Who's walking into Aries' life? Tell me. Ooh. Six of Pentacles. Could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we have the Nine of Swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, somebody's anxious about approaching you. They're sort of intimidated by your presence. Well, you are the Empress, right? Or Emperor. It's just energy. But they're anxious. Um, they, I almost get the feeling like they don't feel that they're good enough. With the Six of Pentacles here, it's like... Like if you're a female, you make more money and a male is trying to approach you and they know that you make, you know, you have this high status. That's sort of the intimidation that I'm feeling like, oh my God, how would I even have a chance with this person? Because, you know, they're up here on the social scale and I'm down here. That's the, that's the vibe that I'm getting. I don't think that you care, but that's not what they see. That's not what they feel. They, well, they feel your worth. They see your worth. So they want to give as much as they can, but they're just anxious. They're too much up in their head. I'm getting not only a nine of swords energy, I'm feeling like an eight of swords energy. They keep going around and around and around and around and around when you probably couldn't care how much money they make. What's more important to you is what's in their heart. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what your response is. If they get the... Well, they have to be coming towards you if they're showing. Ace of Cups. I think you ease their pain, Miss or Mr. Empress or Emperor. The Ace of Cups is a new beginning in love. It's an expression of love, right? It's also self-love. What are you doing, Teddy? My dog's being. And Halloween has already passed, right? Okay, so let's see how this changes your energy. I think you're very flattered, whomever this is. Let's see how this changes your energy. And I think this is somebody that you know, like you're friendly with. Let's see how this changes your energy. Jeez, how does this change the Empress's energy? How does this change Aries' energy? Hmm. How does this change Aries' energy? You don't want to give me any more information here. How does this change Aries? There we go. The Knight of Cups, you're really offering your love here. I think... With this person that you, ugh, 
see my nose is itching now with this person that you've known and I think you've known them for a while but they've really taken a long time to actually um, get the nerve up to even step to you maybe it was you were involved with somebody else for some of you and they really didn't have the opportunity but this time they were going to take the opportunity because I think there were many opportunities before that they didn't take because of their nerves and this time they overcame that for just long enough to approach you and this is something that I feel in, impressed you as well I feel like when they approached you you feel or when they do approach you if this hasn't happened yet that you feel this nervousness you think it's cute and um, you're you're thinking oh I never really thought about you know this individual um, as a possibility not because they're out of your social class, but because you just, you know, it, you just never did. So I do think that you give them the opportunity and you offer them something of yourself. So let's see how they respond. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. How do they respond? Yeah. The Nine of Cups. It's a wish come true. This is the wish and desire card. This is like, oh my God, this is a wish come true. So whatever I can just see him or her like whatever date that they're planning I'm feeling more male energy is is gonna be is gonna blow you away and you're gonna think it's adorable because it's not that it's going to be you know lavish and cost all this money it's the thought that this person puts into it like every step of this date is extremely thoughtful and you will be very appreciative of it how will you respond? It's very sweet, actually. How will you respond? How will you respond? Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> you've got the Five of Swords, you've got the Seven of Wands, and you've got the Death card. I think the reason why you gave this person a chance is because it is somebody different. It's not normally somebody that you would have given a chance previously, but this Five of Swords energy I'm feeling from a past relationship. And I feel like you were hurt in this past relationship and you since then have noticed patterns, right? And one of these patterns you're finding is picking, you know, uh, similar individuals so this is sort of going outside of your comfort zone right and this is what I feel that you're doing with this five of swords energy it's like you felt so defeated in love in the past you felt like um, you know you you weren't the only one in the past you you felt so many different things with this five of swords that you're stepping out of your comfort zone Okay, you're still putting up boundaries with this seven of, of wands, right? Because you're like, okay, I am the empress. I need to have certain boundaries, okay, that they can't step over, but they won't. They're not even going to come close to that. So you're transforming with this death card the way that you view and see uh, people as potential love mates, as potential partners. Now that's wisdom. That's true wisdom, Aries. True wisdom. Okay, so let's see what's what's in your future. Oh, I want to know because this is this person. It's like their wish come true. They've been dying for this. You know what this? Oh, they just showed me a picture of that movie. What is the name of that movie? Some kind of wonderful. If you've never watched that movie, it's an 80s movie. I think it was like 1988 or something, or 87. You've got to watch that movie. Okay. Eight of Wands. Yep. Passion. Passion. Love. Possible travel with this person. But messages. Messages. Passion. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, what else? What else is in their future? 
I am really loving this feeling. This is a, oh, you know what it is? Like, I just want to cry. It is like that wanting to grow old with you feeling. That's the feeling I'm getting. It's very, very sweet. Oh, Aries, oh my God. Yep, four of wands. Yep, I knew it. This could be a possible twin. Oh, my heart. <sighs> Definitely a soulmate. We do have one eight here. Definitely a soulmate. This is the 1111 card in the marriage card. And I think I will leave it there because this is the sweetest reading I've ever done. And oh my God, I'd love to be a fly on the wall on this date. And for whoever out there is going to experience this, you must email me or comment in this video. Uh, if you've already experienced it too, what this date was, because I just feel like there's so much thought in this date that it's very unique. It's very unique. And watch that movie, Some Kind of Wonderful. Mary Stewart Masterson and um, I forget the dude's name. 1987 movie. So I hope you resonated with this. Um, I really hope you did. Please comment down below if you did. Like, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. You have yourself a fantastic day. Don't forget to check out your November reading. It's already up on my playlist on my channel. So you have a good one, and I will talk to you tomorrow.